what are the best text editors and IDEs for Python in 2021? That's what we're going to be answering today, so let's get right into it. Hello everyone, welcome to Short Code. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to code, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on any future Python tutorials. So today I'm going to be telling you what are the five best Python text editors and IDEs that you can use in 2021. At number five we have Atom. It's clean, lightweight and easy to set up. It's developed by GitHub. It's free and open source and it's based on Electron. Now I've never actually used Atom myself, but I know that it is popular among Python developers. Um, and I'd recommend it for anyone who's new to programming just because it requires almost no configuration and you can start coding in Python really quickly. Now moving on to number four, we have PyCharm. Now PyCharm is a very powerful IDE full of features uh, like debugging and refactoring. It's made by JetBrains and there are two versions. There's a community version which you can get for free, but then there's also the professional version which does cost quite a lot of money, but the professional version does come with more features like web and SQL support. Now PyCharm is really good when you're working in a huge code base with thousands of lines, but if you're a beginner I wouldn't recommend it just because it's quite hard to set up and it's just got a lot of unnecessary features that you probably won't be using. So it's good for big projects, but for smaller projects you probably shouldn't use it. So in at number three we have Sublime Text. It is very, very lightweight. It's similar to Atom, but it's even more lightweight. It does cost $80, but you can get it for free. You can get the free version, which is exactly the same, except you get this annoying pop-up saying, can you buy it? Now, Sublime is what I actually use in my tutorials just because it's really simple and clean. Now, it, customizing it and installing extensions is a little bit harder because for the settings, it's in JSON format instead of just a simple menu. So I'd recommend it for anyone who wants a simple and customizable text editor. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, a like would be appreciated. It really does help me out. Anyway, at number two, we have Visual Studio Code. Now, VS Code is very powerful and very customizable. Some people do class it as an IDE, but it's technically just a text editor. It has probably the most extension support out of all the text editors on this list because of the Visual Studio Marketplace. And it also comes with debugging tools. It's pretty much the most popular text editor right now and it's what I would use if I didn't use the number one text editor on this list. The best text editor for Python, which is what I use, is Vim. Now, Vim is an extremely lightweight text editor. I think it's only around 30 megabytes in size, so it's really lightweight. It's also really customizable with plenty of plugins and you can customize almost every aspect of Vim. It's really cool. Vim was actually released in the 90s. It's based on the VI text editor. Uh, Vim is literally just VI improved. Now what makes Vim so good? It's simply because of the productivity gains you get. When writing code, you never touch the mouse, you never touch the arrow keys, you literally move around the file with the H, J, K and L keys. There are loads of other keybinds to make you way more efficient, it's really a keyboard oriented text editor which is why I love it so much. Um, and you can just be really fast when writing code. Now Vim does have a steep learning curve, it does take a couple of months to be really efficient with it, just because it's unlike any other text editor or IDE and it just has quite a lot of keybinds that you need to remember. You'll also need to do quite a bit of setting up to make it good for Python development with various plugins and stuff. If you want me to make a video on setting up Vim for Python development, leave a comment down below. I, uh, I might make it if it gets enough support. But once you know how to use Vim, you'll be uh, really quite productive while writing code. And I'm interested to know which text editor or IDE do you use, leave a comment down below. Now, if you'd like to learn how to make games in Python, then you can click on this video here, which will take you to my Pygame RPG tutorial series. Or if you want to learn some advanced Python, then you can click on this playlist here. Anyway, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.